Seminary can teach you a lot of things. It can teach you exegesis, how to delve into the text and bring out of the text what's there. But seminary cannot teach you experience. You have to live and experience the exegesis. One of the struggles with ministry is that we are adept in exegesis and we're inept when it comes to experience. And therefore, it's important that we spend time with people, Ezekiel 3.15. Ezekiel set where the captives, the exiles, set for seven days and did not say anything. He listened for seven days. Can you imagine a preacher who has nothing to say for seven days except to listen to the people and experience their pain? and to feel the fact that they were separated from their homeland and to understand how they really did feel when they said, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willow trees in the midst of, for they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth or entertainment, saying, sing for us one of the songs of Zion. And their response was, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Experience is important. It's incarnational. I go on record to say, and this is coming very close to being heretical, but God could not really understand us, even though he is omniscient, until he became one of us incarnationally. Oh yes, he could understand because he knows everything, but until the word became flesh and dwelt among us, or as Eugene Peterson says in his message Bible, the word became flesh and moved into our neighborhood and experienced what we experienced. That's when God really, if you will, I know it sounds heretical, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. God had to become one of us to experience what we experienced so that Paul could later on say, we have a high priest who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities because he experienced those same things. He knew what it was like to be hungry. He knew what it was like to be thirsty. He knew what it was like to go to sleep even on a boat. He knew what it was like to be crucified. He knew what it was like to be put in the tomb. And he knew what it was like to be the first fruits of the resurrection. Even the Son of God experienced what we would have experienced so that no temptation has overtaken us but such as is common to men. And that's what Jesus did for us. We've got to experience experience so that our exegesis and our experience become inseparable.